a ton. Can you talk us through that? I'd be a pretty proud achievement for you. Yeah, it was a really bit of a monkey off my back now, I think, after obviously the Shield final getting so close, but it's good that you got to keep continuing that form, I guess. So making one, you got to make two. So. And the way that you got there was sort of a bit of hitting and a bit of class as well. Is it <laughs> something that Jamie's instilled in you, that confidence? Oh, uh, yeah, a bit of confidence, but I don't know. There's, I don't know much about class, but going out know, there pretty hard. Now it seems like you've got the best depth in the country. Is that how you guys feel amongst the team? Um, yeah, I think we've got a lot of confidence in each other, especially, and then now we've got heaps of depth too. We, we're not, we're, it feels like we're playing for our spot every week, which is like kind of a good thing, because we're all driving ourselves forward every week, we're all pushing ourselves to get better and better, So, which I think it's a good thing to have good depth. I think last year we were quite disappointed we got so close and then couldn't produce again, but then this year we sort of said that we're going to go all the way, and we all through pre-season we built on that. So. How about Chad Sayers? I mean, we can only watch it from here and watch the replays, but he's yeah. also playable at times. Yeah, I know he's incredible, isn't he? It's so amazing. You think like playing 115 kilometers hour wouldn't get many wickets, but no, he's been really good. I think that Chad's uh, due for a call up now. Oh, it'd be great if he does. It'd be awesome. I think he's very close. I think everyone around the country thinks he's one of the best bowlers in Australia at the moment, so he's very close, that's for sure.